world renowned US inventor and businessman Warren Buffett defined value as price is what you pay for, value is what you get. Hello and welcome to another edition of Farmer's Diary, the program where we discuss ways we can help our farmers get better value for their farming activities. I'm your guide, Iwe Sekunde. Join me as we take a look at value addition to agricultural products in Nigeria with a focus on the cassava value chain. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, says Nigeria cassava production is by far the largest in the world. It had more than production in Brazil and almost double the production of Indonesia and Thailand, with an annual production of about 44 million tons of cassava. Nigeria is today the world's leader of cassava, but the country is yet to harness the maximum benefit from cassava due to inadequate processing facilities, and this subjects the crop to seasonal glut. Some Nigerians and institutions have, however, begun to learn how to add value to cassava to earn more benefits from it. On Farmer's Diary today, we will share some of these efforts and let's start with this visit to the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA Ibadan, which availed us the opportunity to learn more about cassava value addition. Analysis for our own research. Then number two, when it was design it is now, farmers were brought together to look what is easier for you. Uh, the idea was to do something that the farmers can replicate outside, the processors can replicate outside. And most of the people were being trained at that time, were not be paid. The idea was for them to come, stay with us for about two to six months. The lending, the way the work is done, they go out there and replicate. Some of them are still operating outside now. Some make gari, some make fufu, some make both gari and fufu. Fufu is, is really at least maybe little or no cost at all at all. Why, why no cost, no investment at all at all? Why fufu? I mean fufu no investment, but gari we need a little investment. That was the idea of this place. Now, like I was saying, we train people. Like I, if you come, you want to train, I ask you two questions. What type of train do you want? What do you want to process into? If you tell me, oh, I don't, I don't want to train so that I know to go and use it my, my own, I will tell you, we have two types of trainings. <coughs> One, if you come to Calabria unit, you want training, you don't want IT certificate, it will be at no cost on you except your transportation and your accommodation, your feeding. If you are outside, outside the battle, your accommodation also and your, and your feeding. But if you, are, if you say, I want certificate, then I, we refer you to a training unit that we handle everything but we do the training. Is that's what we still do even today. For all, if you are any, even non Nigerians, you want to come and learn, we are ready to train. Because I bring you training for free at no cost. Mm. Right. Like, most of the training at that time will not be classroom training, it will be practical work. Mm. You get to the field, see the way it is, uh, you see the way we plant, see the way we harvest, see the way we, we process. You learn, and then you can go back there and establish it. Like I was also telling you, I know that people will complain about the poles we use, iron poles. I tell people you don't need to use iron poles. You can use wood, real wood, hard wood, like teak, like acacia. Get to your back, back of your house or in your five, you have them, cut. Just do a hand like I have it here. Then you have good ventilation, where smoke will enter into your eye. Then you can produce the, uh, the type of gari or fufu you want, to, you want to make. Then you can have the market. You're already a part to go ahead and do your work. Mm. That's what we do in IIT. We have a mechanical uh, processing. This one uh, came in, it's built by AFDB. Then there will be AFDB for the uh, program. And then the idea is, if we have people who are rich who want to go into processing, we, they may not want to begin to use manual. And then they can afford to do that, that's why this one was built. Here you have uh, uh, two gari fryers. Then you have uh, um, um, a flash dryer. Then you have a hammer mill. Then you have also a cabinet drive. Then you have the graters. You have the graters, different capacity of graters. So that's what you have in this other building here. Oh. It's, a new, it's, a, it's a new building. My advice to every Nigerian is that uh, 
It is not good for you to be a lazy person. If you are educated, you can't get a job. Set up something for yourself. You don't know what to do. Look for a way to set up a gari factory. Or you make your fufu. You can do your dry fufu. You can do your um, gari. Different type of gari. One of the things I want to quickly make is this. That one particular type of, one variety of cassava can give you different types of gari. The only thing is that it depends on the processing. It can give you a bad gari, it can give you a yog gari, it can give you a bad gari, it can give you a igbo gari. What you need is how do you process it to give you this different type of gari. That's what is IIT. We, we are ready in Kazabin to tell you and to teach you and to train you. This will not be a classroom work if you are coming to us alone. Like you, are, you want IIT to give you a different you have to sit down. First of all, talk one and go to the field. Here is practical and then you learn from us by participating in what you are doing. Well, quite inspiring to know that a lot of products can now come out of cassava, which we produce in large quantity. We now know that we can have different types of gari, cassava flour for baking confectionaries, fufu flour, ethanol, and a lot more, all from cassava. And the advice from Peter is that if you are idle or like to become self-employed, Training centers like theirs is open to train you for free. He went further to open our eyes to the fact that with little capital, you can start up a factory to process cassava. If you remain here with us, you will meet some Nigerians who have started putting these lessons to practice. Let's find out if it is a worthy venture, but that will come after this short break. This is Farmer's Diary on AIT Abuja. Today, we are discussing the cassava value chain. If you just joined in, we have heard that cassava can be processed into several products. For details, log on to our online platform, www.ztonline.com to watch the entire package again and previous edition on our YouTube channel. Let's meet some Nigerians who engage in processing cassava to find out if it is a lucrative venture. We are actually involved in uh, gari processing. Yes, that is what we do. And here is village two, the Wariam Farm Settlement, Wariam in Anambra East local government of Anambra State. We process cassava into gari under the platform of VCDP. Value Chain Development Program with a FAD. Uh, we came under them when they came into Anambra State and since then we have cause to really say that the FAD and VCDP is for real. Honestly, we are very happy and we have, and we have gotten so much, so much in, in having partnered with the FAD, not with the training, value addition, so many things. The first thing that they gave us was training. So we went on a training to Mina. And the training lasted for up to a week. And there we went to so many places, even in that Mina, rice processing, some, so many places. And then we had some, a group from Abia State. They really discussed with us and we decided to come and form our innovative platform in Anambra State. And the secretary of our cooperative society has gone on first training. Sure, sure. For right now, we can look at tomorrow and say we are not afraid to be called farmers and processors of agriculture. And somehow, before we are both producers and uh, and the processors, but most all our members have decided to go to stop pro producing. And through VCDP, we have now been linked to an aggregator from the producers that we go there and take the cassava that we need and come to our place and process it and then send it also to VCDP marketing area that they market for us. So there is without stress, it's reduced. So many things. Before their intervention, we are moving. We will now take gare. We will now take cassava from this place. Now move 
to the other place and then bring it back almost to when they came they now upgraded the center and then channeled everything merely cassava arrives it follows a process they've now been able to separate what they called they, because they were educating us anyway. What they call the wet area from the drying area and the packaging area. So we cannot wait for the building to be finished and the equipment to come in so that we can really go on. So much, so much. I can safely tell you that I am happy that more than 10 years ago, I came into, uh, decided to make agri agriculture and agri-related agri a field, my main area of business. I'm happier because when I started, it was it was just things were haphazard. But right now, the members that made up the cooperative that become my, became my members were people that were not in agri-related. So we came together, decided to really become serious in agriculture. Now, there's no looking back. Oh. Most of us are closing our other businesses and, uh, then not, uh, and then coming fully into the business of processing. Because we know that very soon, the gare that is sold openly in the market under with flies running anywhere is not going to be so and have made us know that value must be added to it it has to be packaged it has to be arranged it has to meet international standards so that if white people come on they will now say eh, these people are not really eating poison that they are eating something that was carefully made before 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 the intervention of the fad we discovered that so much it was the crude method that our great grandfathers used and we are getting their method we are getting their result because if you use their method you get their result their training honestly has made us to add value to what we are doing and i cannot tell you how much we are making you know, the cooperative we cannot because we are not audited <laughs> we are not audited as <laughs> I don't know the ourselves, so it is so. Uh, I'm an evil man, you know. <laughs> so it is very lucrative. Uh, you, you, are, you can join. Eh? After all, I'm going to go in a lab and I'm going to make it. You can. You, uh, <laughs> it is not one person that sells uh, clothes in. Uh, in the market, everybody can sell, mm. but at least we are the first. We are the first, so we have advantage. You can come in. Please don't ask me the interpretation of that Igbo adage used by the happy cassava processor in Anambra State. But from his expression, one can tell that he is in good business processing cassava. Although not wanting to reveal the economic benefits thereof, if you ask me, it is worth a trial. But as experts would advise, it is good to start small and grow your business. And for those who are still waiting to have huge sums of money before they can start off a cassava processing factory, we visited a small scale factory which has made impact in the lives of some members of a rural community. I'm here to tell you more about my factory, which is Kari Kari Multipurpose cooperative society which we produce gary of any type the sour one for your soaking and then the starchy one for eba we make it in the most hygienic way starting from the peeling peeling properly and washed in our small brush it in our small grater then press it so which we fry it and fry it clean and dry for your consumption you can we can help you buy cassava of any amount of your choice and make you the clean gari of your choice here in our small gari factory if you want to patronize us you can reach us on 081-8664-3250 let me tell you something those of you who have money especially the politicians Instead of buying salt, wrapper, rice to share to women during election, you can start up a small gari factory like this, our own, at Kari Kari Multipurpose Society. 
it will employ more than 10 women for a lifetime remember it, i said if you want to make you your clean gary we are here at your service call us on and your gary will be ready in good time i want to use this medium to advise the women at home who are doing nothing you can also call us on this number if you want to you can also call us on this number and they will direct you to our factory which will employ you you might be the one frying you might be doing the the peeling you might be doing the washing engage yourself in one of these and you will, your life will never remain the same as before i hope i'm too small to start up this business as you can see this is my this, i am the women leader of this small scale organization and if you can't join me we will build a bigger factory in the future you see with just little funds you too can start up a cassava processing unit to create jobs for more people earn more money from farm produce and above all create food security for the nation which is our core objective on farmer's diary this thing is grinding machine we used to, we used to grind our cassava before uh, before we continue processing you do what with it? Uh, after grinding, this is how we bring it from the farm, raw like this. Then when we bring it, we have the women and our children that are, that are peeling it. After the peeling, we thoroughly wash it to avoid uh, being stone, being, uh, be, be having the stone. Then later, we put it into this uh, grater and we grind it. After that one, we keep it for some days for fermentation so that uh, there, there won't be much starch content on it again. After fermentation, we put it in the, in the sack, as you can see it over there. Then we put it under the, under the dryer, as you can see it over there. So after the drying, then we bring it back to this uh, same, same machine that will help us to sieve. Instead of using hand to sieve again, we begin to use this one. After the sieve, sieving, We'll be frying it, as you can see, over there also. So that is how we do it here. Okay, what kind of gari is this? Uh, it's gari bara. Okay. Gari bara. Gari bara. Yes. All right, all of this process you do it, it's sounding modern. How did you learn it? Uh, we are born into this thing. It has started here in the Tamil Memorial that we cannot just say. We born into uh, we born into it and we are growing into it and we are still there. We are not, we are not and we will not even quit because we enjoy what we are doing here. But when they when they identify our village as a gari uh, producer and the processor community, they ask us the same question you asked me. What do we what do we need? They, we told them that we are still doing it as our forefather did it and our foremother they did it. So we want improvement. We want a change. We want modern equipment, which they promise us there is a, a, a very mighty building ongoing there now. They even change our, our thinking. You see, we are very close to the road, but we are ashamed of telling people what we are doing here because we consider in those days that uh, being a farmer, you are a rejected people. We are not rejected, but we are not uh, into agriculture, but we, we are into agro, uh, agro business which we are doing now. So we are proud to say we are farmers, we are, we are gaffer residents. That's why the fact that they are yet to complete the, the building. When you look at our village, nobody needs to tell you that there are a lot of changes. You can see new buildings, both men and women. Competition is ongoing. In those days, hardly you can see 25% of our children here going to secondary school. But I can assure you today, we have 100% going to secondary school. We have our children in our institution now because they have exposed us to some things. They have increased our sales because our, pro uh, our processing uh, things is getting better. As you can see, we are getting neat. In, uh, very, very, very neat at our, look at our, look at our women. They don't wear tattered clothes again. There is no enough gift you can give to them than to ensure that for what they are doing for us here, we will make sure that we flood the market with our products here and that we encourage them most. We believe that one. And we continue to say thanks to them. And personally, I've made up my mind. Wherever I get to, that's done a lot in my life and in the life of my people. Thank you very much. I've been doing it since five years ago. And you people now, you are in a group called what? 
Agbelere Processing Group. We enjoy it because they, they build Gari factory for us in this village. So they, they encourage us how we are doing Gari, how we are uh, producing cassava, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you like the help they give to you? What, is, what impact do you make in your community? They, they encourage us because the way we are doing it before is different for, uh, from this, this program they, they, they bring to us. So as, how were you doing it before? We are doing it manually, but now they, they advise us to they bring engine so that this one we are doing um, for a few minutes, few, few years to this time, we are using engine. We are not using manual like this again. Okay, very soon. Yes, very soon. Uh, they, support, they support us on this uh, gari processing. Can you teach us how they make gari? Tell us the process. If we, if we get cassava, as you see it there, we are going to peel it. If we peel it, we get machine that we grind it. We are going to, if we grind it, we finish. We are going to pack everything inside one sack. Yeah, continue this kind of sack, we are going to put it and we are going to carry it on, on what do you, dryer, okay, dryer. If we dry it, we get machine that we ground it to, it became like this. <laughs> so that we are going to fry it like this. So when you not fry it like this, what do you not do? You just sell it? No, we are going to use sieve to sieve it. If you sieve it, we are going to pack it inside sack. So we are going to market. Market. Yes. When you go market, what happens? Ah, uh, we're going to sell. Eh? For plenty money. <laughs> yes, so. Okay, since before that you used to sell Gary and now, what is the difference? Which the one? The price. The price. Uh, the price we are selling it before is different from the price we are selling it now. Before it go up, but now it don't come down. Okay. So they give you plenty, plenty money. Ah, uh, we are. <laughs> it gave us plenty money before, but now, unless if CDP can can help us to change the way we are we are selling it, not CDP to help us to to pack it inside the inside the package. So um, we are going to seal it, sell it inside the nylon. We are not. We are. We don't want to go. Uh, we don't want to go and say uh, this. Uh, this one is 200 naira. This one uh, go, don't come. Come measure it like by yourself. We want to measure it by ourselves. Scale it. Scale it so that we we'll get plenty money. <laughs> and we want. And we want to. I want our gallery to get NAVDAC register number so that we can export it. Make more plenty money. That's the size of our package today. But we will return same time next week with another enlightening edition. For sponsorship and advert placement on Farmer's Diary, please call 080-3454-0469 or send us a WhatsApp message to 070-1345-3224. I will see you again same time next week. I'm Iwe Sekunde. Bye for now.